Black Ops 5 might not be Treyarch's only game this year. Leakers and insiders are hinting at something just insane happening. Hey everyone, how's it going? So, yeah, something unthinkable might be going down, and I am here to explain it to you and piece together the puzzle. Well, unless we are just being memed, but if not, this might just be my biggest video ever. Fellas, let's do this. It all started the other day, just before the Activision investors call, when the well-known leaker The Gaming Revolution tweeted a very random and out-of-context zombies gif of the giant when Richtofen says, What can I say, Dempsey? Things change. Shortly after, the Activision CEO says that Call of Duty will have massive growth because of unannounced initiatives? What does that even mean? Then, the gaming revolution replies to that, simply quoting, Northwoods. And my mind is absolutely blown. Northwoods, what is this and what does it mean? Well, it is a leak from years ago, we're talking 2016 or 2017, where this thing showed up on Xbox or PlayStation by Activision, compatible with COD points, so it's a Call of Duty thing, and it's just simply named Northwoods. As the description reads, Tired, cold, alone, surrounded by the sounds of the unknown, ha, oh, nice rhyme, through the tree line you hear them coming, hunting, do you have what it takes to survive, or will you descend into madness? Welcome to the frozen desolation of Northwoods. So it doesn't specifically mention zombies, but like, you hear them coming, hunting, surrounded by the sounds of the unknown, it's either zombies or wolves, and to me, well, doesn't it kind of sound like a horror-themed, like, survival game? Like, I don't know, zombies? And that is all we know, kind of, so mentioning this, is the gaming revolution trolling, memeing, or is there more to it? A am I looking too deep? Maybe. But another detail about this is that Lee Ross has played this, who is Lee Ross? If you don't know, Lee Ross was like the face of Infinite Warfare Zombies, but after that he moved to Treyarch to work on Blackout, and he added some friends on PlayStation from the community, and if you look at the games his account has played, Northwoods is there. It's really damn interesting, but we haven't had any update on it for years since it originally leaked. Northwoods appears to be some kind of expansion or game by Treyarch under the Call of Duty banner that leaked when Black Ops 3 was the newest Black Ops and this year is essentially Black Ops 5. So what what game is this? What, what game is it a part of? Probably only time will tell. Also, it has either been planned or worked on for years, longer than a normal COD game would. My mind has been racing with theories and I've been connecting the dots, and something that popped into my mind was, during the last summer, when the gaming revolution was having a lot of intel about Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare Battle Royale, I remember there was a video where he has really shocked himself that he had somehow gained access to an Infinity Ward document of ideas and concepts for a battle royale, and one of the ideas that was discussed was a zombies-themed, like, zombies and infected mixed together, like a PvP and PvE game mode. Now, I doubt this was ever the actual plan or ever worked on, it was just a concept thrown around. So I'm not saying that I think Northwoods is Modern Warfare BR, but it's... It's not an unrealistic idea if it's been thought of before. And also, going back to the start of that out-of-context zombies tweet, what can I say, Dempsey? Things change. I think this might be linking- well, oh, bloody hell, it's obvious, it's something to do with zombies, but I think I know what it could actually be, or, you know, this is my theory. A zombies- finally, after all these years, a zombies only game so let me let me explain this the forest and the woods have been a reoccurring theme in zombies since black ops 3 being the menu the loading screen it came back in black ops 4 as the menu there are character memory videos set in the forest even dr monty was revealed there and in that video from like august 2016 dr monty says this is it the infinite the Aoife, or something along those lines, or Gartha? 
I can't remember. Now, no, the Aether is not just a Minecraft dimension in a mod, however, that's pretty epic. In Zombies, the Aether is like this mythical realm, or like, dimension, you know? <laughs> so I guess the Aether can be materialized as the forest. Heck, that's even where the storyline ends, that's where the characters die at the end of the storyline. Oh yeah, by the way, once they introduced the Chaos storyline, they needed to name the original storyline, which they named the Aether storyline. So you link that being the forest and the forest of Northwoods here, or the woods of Northwoods, and you see the connections. What if this is some kind of post-Zombies storyline expansion or game or DLC. We know at the end of a storyline in Targ to Toten, many things are banished to the Dark Aether. So if Aether is like this nice mythological place, the Dark Aether is like the hell version of it. The Transit Crew, the Zombies, 115, the Apothecons, Dr. Monty and the Shadow Man are all banished to the Dark Aether. What if that's what the Northwoods is? Some kind of game or something that takes place in the Dark Aether after the storyline has ended. Even though we have dived deep into this theory and looking at the hard evidence of it, we are not done yet. Earlier this year, or last year at some point, there was rumours that Jason Blundell had left Treyarch or been fired. Jason Blundell, of course, the Zombies director, then he was promoted right up to co-studio head of Treyarch. The Gaming Revolution said, thanks to his sources, that this rumour started because Jason Blundell, well, first of all, obviously, he's been missing since, well, for basically an entire year. The guy just went AWOL when he was supposed to be directing zombies. Hmm, something fishy is going on. But then, according to his sources, Jason Blundell has just not been present at Treyarch, so that's why rumours were going around the studio itself that he had left. What if... Jason Blundell and others were moved onto this project outside of Treyarch, perhaps? Or something? I I'm not sure. Another possibility is a Zombies campaign. Since the Aether storyline has ended from Nacht and Toten to Tag der Toten, what if all the key points were told through a Zombies-only game, but through a COD campaign style of gameplay. As an example, Mob of the Dead. The story, the very basic story of Mob of the Dead is, the characters are sinners, so they live through the endless cycle over and over again in purgatory, or essentially hell, to, to suffer forever, for eternity. They are in a loop, in a cycle, where they build a plane to escape Alcatraz Island. Imagine doing that, like, learning about that storyline and doing that objective of building the plane, but instead of doing it through zombies means, doing it through a, a COD campaign style instead of an easter egg. I think that'd be really interesting, and just telling the key points of the storyline. I don't know, the description of Northwoods that was there might just be a placeholder and it's really ambiguous. Now, another piece of information we are waiting on is thanks to DK Dynamite, another Zombies YouTuber who has really, like, grown recently, and it's really good to keep in tabs with what his videos are because he himself has also been in contact with insiders, leakers, and he is, like, friends with the gaming revolution. In a recent video, he said he is waiting for the green light, for the go-ahead from many different people to reveal information perhaps about DLC 5, like Transit, Diarise, and Buried, perhaps being in Black Ops 5. And he also acknowledged the Northwoods tweet from The Gaming Revolution. So, what if this Northwoods thing could be DLC 5 after the events of Targ to Toten in the Dark Aether? And what if it is some kind of pre-order bonus for Black Ops 5? Kind of like the Black back in, what was it called, back in black, a multiplayer map pack in Black Ops 3 and 4, essentially. If it's like that, but it's like a zombies, I don't know, would it just be a, a DLC 5 in Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 5? Would it be its own download, like its own application? There is so much possibilities, I do not know. Man, the possibilities are endless. For we know, it might be a Call of Duty take on an open world zombie survival like DayZ. It might just be a meme. I might be looking way too deep into this. I don't know, fellas, but 
It's going to be really interesting to see if we get any more teasers from leaks and insiders, or if this just turns out to be a whole load of nothing. I'm not sure, but lads, stay spicy and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.